So, I've recently been asked a lot about the vocal chain and the plugins that I use to mix my vocals and whether it's for a YouTube cover or for an original song, the process tends to be the same. In this video, I'm going to take you through a simple vocal chain that you can use to make your vocals sound from something like this I raise my hands up to the skies, I call to you to something like this I raise my hands up to the skies, I call to you Let's get right into it. So the vocal I'm going to use for this example is an original song that I released on DistroKid called I Belong To You. And for those of you that are unfamiliar with DistroKid, it's a service that you can use to get your music out on the biggest platforms like Apple Music and Spotify. And the reason I use this service to release my music out on these big platforms is because it only costs $20 a year for an unlimited amount of uploads in terms of albums and singles. I get to keep 100% of my earnings and the features that DistroKid offers to help promote your music makes building your own audience a lot easier. If you're ready to release your music on these big platforms and you think DistroKid is a perfect fit for you, use my link down in the description below and you'll get 7% off your first year's membership. Thank you DistroKid for sponsoring this video. Now getting back to the vocal, when it comes to setting up a solid vocal chain, I like to break things up into three different stages. The first stage is focused on cleaning up the vocal, really putting together a solid foundation so that when we move on to stage two, we focus on the details, the thing that makes the vocal stand out the most. And then by the time we have stage one and stage two in place, we move on to stage three where we add the effect and we really bring the vocal to life and get it to that professional quality so it stands out beautifully in the mix. Now, to recap on the vocal we're working with, I raise my hands up to the skies, I call to you. On my knees is where I thrive cause I'm the one you're working through. So starting off with stage one, the first thing we want to do is clean up this vocal and this entails getting rid of any breaths, maybe adding some auto tune, not too much cause we still want that natural vocal and also adding a de-esser to get rid of any S and T sibilant sounds because as soon as you reach the stage of maybe enhancing the vocal and making it loud with a compressor or adding effects, you don't want to be enhancing these certain things that shouldn't even be part of the vocal. So getting rid of these things first is what makes stage one that solid foundation we're looking for before we move on to stage two. And this is what the vocal sounds like when we add that DSO first, we take the breaths out. Hands up to the skies, I call to you. On my knees is where I thrive cause I'm the one you working through. Now that your vocal is cleaned up and we have a solid foundation, the next stage we move on to is the detail stage. And in this stage, we want to focus on all the most important parts of the vocal and really remove certain frequencies that we don't want with an EQ. And then once we've done that, we move on to a compressor where we can really push the levels correctly and make sure everything is nicely balanced overall. The reason you want to do an EQ first is just to make sure you get rid of frequencies before you enhance with a compressor because if you do use it the other way around you're going to enhance certain frequencies that you don't want to enhance and then the EQ is not really going to be able to get rid of everything that you want because the levels have already been pushed up a little bit with the compressor so try and do the EQ first and then you move on to the compressor and that way you can make sure you're cleaning everything in the right step-by-step -step process but in this case I just bumped up the high end bumped up the mids a little bit because that's really where the vocal stands out the most got rid of some of the low end and just got rid of those certain frequencies that I didn't want to make sure that this vocal stands out beautifully before I start adding a compressor. Now let's have a listen to the before and after of our detail stage. On my knees is where I thrive cause I'm the one you working through. On my knees is where I thrive cause I'm the one you working through. Now that we've enhanced the details that we really want people to hear in the vocal and remove those frequencies that we don't like, it's time to move on to the final stage where we bring the vocal to life. And in this stage, we're going to add a whole bunch of effects, some that you might be familiar with including a delay maybe a reverb maybe even some vocoder type plugins and you can even go further than that and add harmonies and stacking because that's really when you have done the basic foundation level and cleanup of your vocal you have all the details standing out and now you're just being super creative with how you want your vocal to sound in this specific case I have an old school reverb plugin that's actually free I'll leave a link down below it's a really nice reverb I actually use a preset with this called bright studio 
makes the vocal sound nice and clear but also not on its own and singular and then I use a mono delay which is a stock plugin that comes with Cubase for this specific vocal really nice just adds that volume adds a little bit of width and a presence when the vocal is on its own but once it's layered with other vocals it really just sounds so so good let's have a listen to what this vocal sounds like before and after the effects are added I raise my hands up to the sky as I call to you on my knees is where I thrive cause I'm the one you're working through I raise my hands up to the sky as I call to you on my knees is where I thrive cause I'm the one you're working through so when you go about putting together your very own solid and reliable vocal chain try and remember the three stages we spoke about today you want to first clean up your vocal then focus on the details before you go off and enjoy yourself with all the effects and layering and all these kinds of things because it's really important to have a solid foundation first before you start focusing on the creative side of the vocal. If you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. But other than that, I will see you for another one next time.